Processing MT Style Connectors. An optical fiber connector terminates the end of an optical fiber, enabling quicker connection and disconnection than splicing. The connectors mechanically couple and align the cores of fibers so light can be directed from one device to another. MT connectors are one of the most recently introduced connectors on the market, allowing for a more compact footprint compared to the single fiber ceramic connectors common in the market. MT connectors allow for 12 or more times the connections in a similar area because of this reduced footprint. This connector is sometimes called an MTP or MPO, which are commercial names. Common application uses include telecommunications, military, cable TV and internet, office, building interiors, optical components, and medical devices. These connectors are available in both single mode and multi-mode. It's important to know whether the connector is made of thermoset or thermoplastic materials so that you can select the correct polishing process. Data centers and routing locations require thousands of connections. The consistency and reliability of these connections are improved by the use of fiber optic polishing machines. There are a number of different brands of fiber optic polishing machines which all have the same goal to produce high quality surfaces to the required geometries. All of the machines have a fixture which holds the connectors with the tips of the ferrules protruding from the bottom of the fixture. The connectors can be held perpendicular or at a precise angle to the surface of the abrasive. Each machine has a backup pad mounted to the machine that the abrasive sits on. For MT connectors it is typical to use a flat glass plate to produce the best uniform fiber heights. The process for polishing MT connectors depends on your polishing equipment, connector type, and end-user requirements. Let's discuss the polishing process for a thermoplastic ferrule after you have epoxied the fibers to the connector and cleaved the excess fiber. Remove the fiber nub, taking care not to cause fiber breakage. Denubbing can be done one at a time or in a fixture using silicon carbide, aluminum oxide, or diamond abrasives. However, the silicon carbide is the most commonly used mineral, and 3M brand lapping film 468X 15 micron silicon carbide is a good choice. Epoxy removal can be done either by hand with the connectors in a fixture or on a machine. For the best quality, the preferred method is on the machine, usually using the same film as you did for the denubbing step. 3M brand lapping films 463X or 468XW with PSA, pressure sensitive adhesive, are designed to start the protrusion building process and maintain a flat connector for the next step in the process. The process conditions depends on the type of machine, the ferrule type, and the abrasive. In general, a 60 second cycle under low to moderate pressures with a controlled water amount will produce good results. Next, we move on to refining the scratches and building more protrusion with flocked type abrasives. 3M brand polishing film 298X 1 micron aluminum oxide provides the finish to move on to the final polish. A 90 to 120 second cycle at higher speeds and higher pressures should produce good results. Lastly, we move to the final finish and protrusion step. 3M brand polishing film 598X, also a flocked type abrasive, provides a surface free from scratches, pits, and other defects for the highest quality finish. A 60 to 120 second cycle at higher speeds and higher pressures should produce good results. This step polishes through a chemical mechanical polishing reaction and controlling the amount of water can improve consistency between batches. Many variables such as pressure, speed, and time can be adjusted to optimize this process to meet specific needs. This process builds on itself so steps should not be omitted. The outcome will depend on the machine, ferrule, and abrasive utilized. The more steps taken, the more defined the protrusion. 
Unlike ceramic connectors, MT furals require a number of steps and longer cycle times to achieve the desired results. Cleaning is also an important step in the overall process. If it is not done properly, debris can put scratches or defects into the fiber surface. The objective of the 3M polishing process is to provide connector results that meet industry needs. Customers are looking for results that are within the shown specifications. Additionally, interferometers can be used to scan the MT connectors. Once the process is complete, the protrusion and the flatness should be consistent across all 12 fibers in the MT connector. Common geometries are to have protrusion between 1 and 3 micron, variation in fiber height less than 0.5 micron, and variation between adjacent fibers less than 0.2 micron. Core dip on multi-mode also is considered. 3M offers a complete line of flock for MT connector polishing. Choosing the correct abrasives for the polishing process is important and can greatly improve long-term connector performance. 3M offers complete solutions for fiber optic connector polishing with a full line of high performance precision abrasives backed by the technical support of our experienced fiber optic specialists. We're ready to help you generate the finish you need on a wide variety of connectors. We can optimize your polishing operation to produce cost-effective results. For additional information on fiber optics polishing, please visit our website at 3m.com forward slash electronics and go to the Abrasives for Electronics Finishing section.